Hello everybody and welcome to a special episode of WoW Classic. Today we are going to be entering Scarlet Monastery Cathedral. Uh, I put us out there in group chat, in, or not group chat, in general chat in Ironforge and well I was asked um, if I could cleave. Apparently this person who started this group, whose name is Danganu, is calling this a speed cleave run. So I don't know what a speed cleave run means, but I told him, yeah, I, I fucking have cleave. Uh, <laughs> we have whirlwind and he invited me <clears throat> to the group, which might be something that he regrets. So we'll see how this speed cleave run goes. I am going to read a little bit of history while we're in flight to South Shore history about the Scarlet Monastery. The monastery was once a proud bastion of Lodoran's priesthood, a center for learning and enlightenment. With the rise of the Undead Scourge during the Third War, the peaceful monastery was converted into a stronghold of the fanatical Scarlet Crusade. The Crusaders are intolerant of all non-human races, regardless of alliance or affiliation. They believe that any and all outsiders are potentially carriers of the Undead Plague and must be destroyed. Reports indicate that adventurers who enter the monastery are forced to contend with Scarlet Commander Mograine, who commands a large garrison of fanatically devoted warriors. However, the monastery's true master is High Inquisitor Whitemane, a fearsome priestess who possesses the ability to resurrect fallen warriors to do battle in her name. So that's where we're headed. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This was one of my favorites. I love all the Scarlet Monastery dungeons. Uh, they're definitely among my favorite dungeons from back in vanilla, so I'm excited. I'm kind of hoping that we already have a healer here in the Paladin, but uh, I, that maybe that's not the case. We'll see what we find, and I'll cut us back in when we're at the portal. All right, here we are. We've assembled. I had some PC problems and had to reboot really fast, but uh, we are going now. Looks like they've already cleared the first group. We've got two mages, two paladins, and ourselves. Let's get in here and start focusing on some cleave and whirlwind damage. As requested by the whirlwind cleave run we're gonna find out exactly if we have what it takes to participate in such a thing. Because apparently it means we're gonna be doing some big pulls. Should be exciting. Just stay close to the tank. And give them a second to pick everything up before we run in. It's kind of crummy that we really can't get a charge in. I mean, not really. We should get a lot of use out of Execute, too, with uh, everybody coming to low health around the same time. Let's let him do whatever he's going to do uh, before we get in there and get too excited. He looks like he's going to intelligently kite them all the way back here. And yeah, I'm down for that. Let's get in there. It's actually pretty effective, especially with the two mages. I mean, they're doing just probably incredible amounts of AoE damage. It's a very different way to play this dungeon than how I remember playing it. 
back in uh, vanilla. Alright, sorry man, I need some like actual rage to kick things off, at least like get a run going on somebody. So that just means I'm gonna have to try to get a charge in every once in a while. Well, I didn't aggro it, so I'm happy about that. Hey, we leveled. Forgot about that. It's too bad we're totally broke. Maybe if we dot a few of these guys up with a rend, that will help contribute to some overall AoE damage, I guess. I don't know, I'm just trying to do my part. We're not exactly a mage, so... Maybe we should just be happy to be here. We'll see if anything drops. Uh, potentially some plates. I think. But it could be just mail. Either way, you know, with our track record, I'd say, you know, we're due something eventually. This could be the time. enough rendered targets I think Shoot. We were too late on the draw on that one. Still see if we could get some wrens going on these guys. And lay down a demoralizing shout before we switch over into Fury. Get some whirlwinds, man. That's what we really need to be getting off is some more whirlwinds. Getting a lot of use out of Execute, I like it. Let's be ready this time. Alright, everyone is basically back to full mana. Let's keep this thing rolling. We've got a good thing going here. I was going to say, we have a uh, pummel now that we can take advantage of. We can get this guy to come all the way over here with us. There we go, that worked out okay.
Leather shoulders, don't need those. Nobody does in this group. Good, we're gonna clear all of it. Perfect, yes, let's start down here. All right, let's, uh, we could probably handle this guy because we could pummel him here. And then we could bring him over here to join the party. Just doing our part uh, for mob control, you know. Although this guy is chasing somebody who's not the tank already, so. Mages are very impressive. Like, part of me regrets not rolling a mage. We've seen mages do some pretty incredible things, and... I mean, the ability to make your own food and your own water? Come on. And not like the mages of today where you have to be like either a frost mage or a fire mage or an arcade mage, but a mage where you actually just get access to all the spells and you use whatever the hell you want while you're leveling. Like, that would be a lot of fun. Portals? God, could you imagine having portals? <laughs> it still wouldn't solve the mount problem, but, uh, you know. Alright, yep, let's pull them out here and get some AoE going. We'll weaken them all with the moralizing strout shout perhaps might help. I mean, when Execute pops up, I think that's when I just need to stop uh, AoEing and I just want to go for the Executes, right? I mean, considering I have Rage, which we often don't, we often still don't have Rage. I think we are eventually going to get an ability to help with that, but oh, you know what? <laughs> there we go. Uh, there we go. 30 second cooldown. We might want to be using all of our abilities and that might really help us play our class well. So let's uh, get in on that. Warrior enters a Berserk Rage, becoming immune to fear and, in in and incapacitating effects and generating extra rage when taking damage. Oh, well, well, when taking damage. I don't know how much that's actually going to help us uh, realistically. We can find out. Yeah, we have to be getting hit. And like with a with a paladin tank with consecrate, it's like they're they're probably not going to lose threat, you know. Unless you can get some threat right away, I might get hit a couple of times. This would be really great for tanking, but it requires Berserker stance, so you'd have to be do- as a tank, you'd have to do some stance dancing to really utilize that. Um, man. Uh, we should have taunt on our bar, but we don't. We took some damage there, though, so, you know, maybe that still is a useful ability to pop. That- it also makes us immune to fear and, and it, uh, incapacitate abilities, so that's great. Definitely probably be used a little bit more than Thunderclap, although we could probably work that in somewhere too. That's about the upper limit. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, guys. I mean, eight is pretty damn good, to be honest. I'm pleased. All right, here we go. Rut row. We've got problems. Oh, we, we got a dead tank here. Let's get this under control, shall we? Uh, we got this guy over here who's like about to be a problem, but we got these guys who like definitely are problems.
at least she's on us. That means we're doing a significant amount of damage, which uh, makes me pretty happy. Alright, I think we're good. Just gotta chill for a minute. Stone Hammer of the Eagle. It's like a good Paladin two-hander. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Oh, we received it. We'll just toss that at the bank. I don't think I would ever roll another Paladin. They're kind of boring. From what I remember in vanilla, but maybe one day. Who knows? It could also be good for a Shaman. I remember using a two-handed Intellect Stam Weapon on my Shaman way back in the day. Like, are we gonna get this one? Sorry, I got a little impatient there. I shouldn't have. We were probably still waiting. I don't remember if um, Paladin tanks need mana. I think they do. Alright, we'll chill for a second. Let everybody heal up and mana up if they need to. We got a, pa we got a mage that's pretty low. You know, or we could just... Or we could just go for it. That's a thing we could do. Let's go ahead and throw a hamstring down in case these guys uh, decide to run towards their brethren, which they are known to do. We still get the execute off, that's awesome. Very nice, very nice indeed. Alright, what about these guys to the left? We got this one guy to the right. What are we doing first? I guess we're going this way first, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, we're going all the way in here? Alright, well... They said it was a rend AoE run. Um, we're not in the proper stance, but you know, it'll all sort itself out eventually. I mean, let's face it, most of our damage is probably gonna be execute damage. Is there anything in here? We don't have any quests here, unfortunately. Not exactly 100% sure where the Alliance quests are for Scarlet Monastery. At least I don't think we have any. No, we don't. We have one for Maradon. Which apparently we might be able to do pretty soon. Are we going in here? Oh, we are. There's something in here. There is something here. The hell is this? Hi, Inquisitor Fairbanks. And down he goes. Totally, hopelessly overwhelmed. I didn't even check everybody's levels, honestly. 43, eh. 37, okay, 41, 38, we're not overpowered to be in here, so I feel like this is good. You know, we did lose the tank once. I think the, with the amount we're pulling, we're like manually adjusting the difficulty to where it needs to be for how powerful the group composition is. That's my opinion. Anyway, we're getting decent ass experience in here too with uh, our rested XP, so that's been pretty great. I'm coming along with you. Leave takes 20 rage, Rogue Strike only takes the 15, that's why we're like often not cleaving. 
20 rage is a lot of rage when you're not the one getting targeted by everything, you know? We're really just reliant on blood rage and just getting some initial... Some initial rage from uh, our charge. But then we kind of lose that when we stand stance. And then we get prompted by all these executes and it's like, man, I just I want to execute these guys, you know? Seems like it's worth it. The mages can handle the AoEing, I feel. We can just put these guys down when they get low. I think this place still looks amazing to this day. I mean, honestly, we're running it at like a thousand times better graphical settings anyway. So, of course it looks amazing. And I think this is it, right? Like This is the only boss in this wing. He opens the map. That's hilarious, Robert. Infidels. They must be purified. Alright, so Scarlet Commander Mograine. Let's get a better look at this guy. He's going down pretty fast. Pretty fast. Nice crit. Alright, well. Oh, here we treachery. go. That's right. I remember. He's gonna get rezzed, and now we gotta fight her. And then I think she's putting us- she's gonna put us to sleep or something, right? And then rez him. Let's check her out. That's right. Whoop. Hope we're asleep. <laughs> okay. And then we get to fight Arise, them both. My champion. At your side, my lady. I think we... Do we focus her first? I'm pretty sure we focus her first. I could be totally wrong. <laughs> Tanks on the uh, commander. Let's, let's switch over. Oh, he's immune. Let's switch over to her. Yeah, she bubbled him. Uh, we're looting. Let's loot. We gotta kill this guy. What are we doing? And now I'm looting. Alright, let's get it together, team. It's not over yet. Um, useless to us. Useless to us. As expected. Ooh, but we'll, we'll need on that. Yeah, like everybody else will. Alright, well that was a blast actually. I really appreciate that. Um, it was quick. Hey, we got loot, guys. That is freaking awesome. Let's equip these bad boys. Alright. There we go. Like, that's our first blue drop from a dungeon that we've got to equip. So... That's uh, pretty great. All right, we'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate the support. Mm -hmm.